Hello, hello guys, welcome back to a video on beacons. So uh, a while ago you used to be able to create beacons with black lights. Uh, for instance, one like this, where the beacon thing is black. Now it looks to me with my testing like the beacon must emit light. Because you can create beacons down in a cave and as long as the beacon is emitting light out the sides, it can create the beacon thing but as soon as you block off any light that goes around it and then block off the top as well like it's not emitting any light out of anywhere then it doesn't it doesn't make a white beam it makes a black beam now moving on you can understand this by saying that these blocks here don't have to be here which uh, these ones don't either it's just the ones around it or well, these these do actually have to be here because the <laughs> The beacon base but these ones don't have to be here and yeah it's just these ones around the beacon really now this doesn't work with transparent blocks because they let the light out so this beacon when it tries to get light out it can through these transparent blocks but whereas with some transparent blocks it does work like you can see through these and yeah now I've tried this out with a couple of other things and I've tried to get an orange beacon thing, but apparently that doesn't exist in the game because I have literally tried every combination on these beacons. But yeah, with this idea, you can come up with these pretty cool things like this. Now this is basically a flashing beam. So you make a clock and you put a piston and it's just the same principle, but with just this. <laughs> uh, it's really cool. You can... Uh, you can use it in like custom maps on servers and stuff to indicate like where players should be or I don't know, there's a variety of uses for this thing but it's really cool uh, some things for the flashing piston though um, this, the beacon is checked every 4 seconds to see if there's a block what well, anything up to and including 4 seconds um, means that basically if this is here it will take anywhere between 0 and 4 seconds for it to check and update so you've got to get it between 2 seconds to actually um, for it to go precisely on the time that it checks so to make it go perfectly on off on off and never stop but otherwise as you can see if I just change these up quickly make it a lot quicker it will eventually stop because it will hit the uh, timeout I'll just fast forward until it does. Uh, you see, at that point there, the beacon flame went off, and then did I say flame? Beacon flame, beacon light went off, and then it came back on because it's hitting the timer irregularly. Um, yeah, I haven't got these timings perfect, but before I just had them all like that. I think these are the timings I got for my uh, for my actual thing at the moment. Uh, it seems to work 99% of the time. I think it went off once, once, and then it came back on immediately. But yeah, these are the timings I got. So you can just copy those. I got full, 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 uh, one tick, and three ticks. Um, this is just a sticky piston. And yeah, I hope this helped you guys. Uh, and until next time, I'll see you guys later. Bye bye.